Hi, I'm Billy Feather. And I'm Hank Smith from Hank Patty in the Current. And today we're going to talk all about beginning ear training. This is a subject that comes up a lot, not only with my young students, but also with a lot of my adult learners. So often they end up at a jam, only to be horrifically frustrated when someone tries to teach them a song by ear. It can be intimidating, it can be heartbreaking, it can be frustrating. So I'm here to break it down to you in a way that's going to make sense and hopefully allow you to start to feel more confident about learning songs by ear. First, we're going to begin with Hank as my assistant, learning to hear the open strings on the banjo by ear. So the way we're going to do this is Hank's going to play one open string for me. We're not going to be looking at each other. I'm going to hum the note and then try to find it on my banjo. The important thing is to not try to find it on your banjo first, but to instead use the voice to figure it out. Our voices have been spending all this time, all of our lives, listening and hearing things and then spitting them back out. So we're going to use the more developed instrument of our voice to teach our fingers. Okay, Hank, I think I'm ready. Ready? So again, this example is going to be using just open strings. Okay, I'm not going to look at him. Mom. Okay. Mom. All right, I'm going to sing the note and try to find it. Mom. Um, okay, hey, is it the B string? It's the B string. Sweet! Okay, should we try one more string? Let's do it. Okay, one more string. Here we go. Bum, I feel pretty low. Bum, bum. Hey, is it the D string? It's the D string. It's the D string. Sweet! All right. That's step one. Once you feel pretty confident about single string notes, you can now move on to two notes at a time we're going to use the combination of one open string and one fretted note. Now, as we go through this exercise, I think it's important to point out that it's a good idea to learn the four, four frets of the banjo, to learn what those notes are. Over time, this is gonna help your banjo journey because you're gonna be able to know what the notes are, maybe pick up other tunes, and just kind of overall figure out like other songs by ear later on. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Now, as I'm doing this process, I'm thinking about is the deck like the second note higher or lower in pitch? And this will help me. Um, gosh, I'm doing this all bad. Let me try You're it again. doing fine. Okay, back from the two notes. I'll just play the two notes. Okay. Ready? As I'm doing this exercise, I'm thinking a lot about is the second note higher or lower than the first note? This can be very difficult to figure out if you've never done this before. So be patient with yourself. Hank, one more time. Okay. Cool. I think the first note is G. Okay, I'm pretty sure that it's a G and a C. Did I get it? You got it. Sweet. Okay, let's try this one more time. Ooh. I'm pretty sure the second note is higher. Okay. No. I think I found it. Hey Hank, is it a D and an E? It is. Sweet. All right. Nice job. Thanks. Okay, now we're going to play a little game. Since now we're feeling pretty good about the open strings and the fretted notes, we're going to go ahead and take a word list that I've created. We're going to try to play a game where one of us is going to play the word and the other one has to guess it. What this does is it gives us some kind of baseline thing to wrap our minds around to kind of place this abstract concept of ear training on. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. It's got to be one of the words. Okay. All here right. we go. I'm ready. Maybe one more time. Okay, is that A-C-E? Is that Ace? You got it, Ace. Sweet! 
Nice. Oh. Way nice. Okay, one more. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. You got it. Yeah, sweet. You bad. I'm bad. So now that we've done three notes, I think it's time that we can maybe take like a snippet of a song. Okay, Hank, give me like four notes. One more time, just those. Okay, I'm noticing a couple things. I'm noticing, bum, bum. The second one's higher, bum. The third one's even higher, bum. Then it returns back to a note. I'm just kind of hearing it out, bum, bum, bum. Hey, play it again. One note I'm missing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Did I get it right? You got it. Sweet. Okay. So now we've discovered that I can learn a snippet of a song by ear. Again, the first thing we did was one open string at a time. Then you can move on to one fretted note at a time if you want to. What we did was use one open string and one fretted note. Then we moved on to three notes at a time using our fun word game. Now we're taking a tune. And that is the beginning of learning things by ear without the use of tab or sheet music.